Hello, this is Marnie Thompson with Understanding Ag with Green Thumb Chronicles. Today we're going to talk about one of the soil health principles, minimizing disturbance, and how you do that in your garden without rototilling. I'm in my garden in Montana that's been no-tilled for 13 years, and I'm going to talk to you about different ways to plant seeds without rototilling. The first one is a jab planter. This is a homemade one, but you can find them um, on the internet, of course. You can only plant large seeds like beans, corns, and peas with a jab planter. So you jab it into the soil, you put the seed in, it opens up and then it closes. And you just go along, put the seed in, open it, close it. So that is method number one. The jab. Option number two for planting in your no-till garden is using a straight shovel. You can just make a slice in the earth. You might want to kind of move it back and forth just so that the hole is wide enough to plant your seeds. You put the seeds in the soil like that and you just close it back up. And then make sure after you plant the seeds that you put a little bit of cover over the top of the seeds because remember nature doesn't like bare soil and that's where your weeds are going to grow. Option number three for planting, the one that I've used for 13 years, I feel like I have a little bit more control in the depth and that's just using a standard household item, a pizza cutter. You can just make a cut in the soil. And sometimes I kind of move it back and forth so the hole is wide enough to fit your seeds in. You put the seeds in. And then use your fingers just to push the soil back together. And then again, you have to put cover over it. I put just a little bit of cover over it. The plants start coming up and then I move uh, the cover back where the seeds are because remember, Nature doesn't like bare soil and it will cover it with weeds. So when your plants come up, this is what it should look like. I have some radishes here. They started coming through the soil and I put more uh, residue. I use my lawn clippings so you can see right there the radishes coming through. All right, thanks for tuning in to Green Thumb Chronicles. Stay tuned for more episodes as we go through the growing season.